Hey guys, what's up? I am Tara Stone, joined by my beautiful partner Tamara Thayer. Uh, and on this episode of That, that PDX, PDX Life, Life, we are doing a deep dive into the neighborhood of Milwaukee, Oregon. It is a beautiful day in Gorgeous Portland. Day. Yeah, we're just out here uh, kind of checking it out and we're going to tell you a little bit about this cute little city. Yeah, otherwise known as Milwaukee. Milwaukee, like yeah. So for those of you who maybe this is your first episode that you've seen, Tara is a transplant. I'm a unicorn. You can get Love that information it. later as to what that means. E N W <laughs> Pacific Northwest. And still. so I've been here my whole life. Milwaukee is one of the places I used to hang as a kid. And so some of today's stats are that as of the 2020 census, there was about 21,000, a little bit over that in population. Pretty good. Um, over 59 percent of that population makes up of families. And within that family, an average of 2.3 people per household. So very I, interesting. Yeah. yeah there. Um, I, I want to know what the point three like. It's a dog or a cat. Yeah. Or something, you know, or averages a math. Math is hard. <laughs> and so you know, recent well, a lot of people will talk about averages. We like to talk about median price of houses because averages mean that you might have an outlier, something that was sold really low or something that was sold really high, kind of can skew that average. But median price of homes here is six hundred and forty thousand. And yeah, the median income. Um, with Tam looked it up, was 70,000 70, so per household. Okay, so that's combined, yeah. potentially one income or two income, so pretty we, good. We did just kind of check out the market ourselves yes. as well. And I'm, I'm um, thinking about moving here, so I was looking at like Selwood, Milwaukee, Oak Grove, Gladstone, kind of all of those areas, which are close to here. Yeah. In fact. We'll zoom out in uh, the map. Milwaukee is sandwiched between Gladstone, Selwood, and Portland. We're doing our best. <laughs> and so um, this one I know because I've looked at the map on several occasions and yeah. I've here and there's no question about it. Yes. Um, but proximity wise, you're still really close to downtown. So even though this is more of a family vibe, there's not a lot of nightlife happening here. Yep. You do have a bustling downtown. The community here is great. Check out that um, Milwaukee, the city of Milwaukee website. It'll be listed in yep. some of our details down there. You want to check that out. It's going to give you the list of all the great neighborhoods that are here and all of the great things that they do in this community with yeah. farmers, markets, farmers markets. Yeah, there's Porch like Fest. all of those. Yeah, and then they have like a big uh, neighborhood garage sale and lots of things like that. And we're, we're at City Hall, so you can see right behind us, centrally located. And then right across the street, we do a Sunday farmer's market. Um, I think it's May through October. And it's fantastic. Yeah, and then they do First Fridays as well. Um, across the way from us is the Willamette River, and there's a beautiful pathway. It connects up with the Spring Water Trail. It's about a mile and a half from there. About a mile yeah. to Selwood from there. Uh -huh. So like, if you're an active person, uh, this is a great community. It's great. To, it's to a great in. middle ground because you're gonna have lower um, median house prices, and you're still going to have large lot sizes, which yeah. I think is really great about this. And you have those mature trees that we love to see oh my gosh. here in Portland. Yeah. There's also a lot of the mix between like early 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, We won't 70s, tell you how old we are. <laughs> houses in all of those variations, and then some new builds are happening in here as well. Yeah, and we were walking through, you'll see new construction of some condos, some apartments, yeah, and some newer homes like Tam was saying. So in looking at the market, you know, 15 to 2,000 square foot home, three bedroom, one to two bathrooms, you're looking anywhere from like 475 yeah. up to about 600,000. Depending De on how dialed in it is. Exactly. Yeah. So knowing what the market is right now, knowing where the rates are going and things like that, you can still find very affordable housing. Yeah just right outside of the city and it's really easy to get in and, and out of it. And a great thing about this area in Milwaukee, again, is that lot size. So you're going to have a generous frontage to your house and you're also going to have a generous backyard. And sometimes we've seen double parking, so two driveways, so you get like the chance for Park RV back. parking. Yeah. I have a sprinter van, so yeah. I have a spot for that. So like in Portland proper in the quadrants, right? Yeah, let's talk about that. So we have the five quadrants, right? We are at the base and we're abutted up to the southeast quadrant. Just so we're right not, outside of the metro we're, area. Yeah, we're in the suburbs of Portland. We're not in Portland. So the majority of Milwaukee is also in the Clackamas County. Better for tax yep. area. There's still a little bit of it that is technically Multnomah, Multnomah but the majority of it is Clackamas. So the 
schools and the taxes and the water, all of that stuff is going to be on the Clackamas side for the most part. Yeah, um, if you're um, thinking about investment properties, um, Oregon does have the statewide rental and landlord laws, but each uh, county is going to differ different. just a little bit yeah. on that, and we can talk about that more. Can, yeah, or you can ask us if you have questions about that. The thing I was going to say with the large... Don't forget to like and subscribe, too. We oh, yeah. That. <laughs> well, hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of That PDX Life. I'm Tamara Thayer. She is. Tamara and Thayer. with me is... <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Tara Stone here. And we are doing a deep dive into Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee is uh, not in another state. It's actually in Oregon, yes. just a little south of the Portland metro area. Yeah. Super, super cute little area. If you've been seeing your videos and you like them and you want some more videos from us, you need ahead. some more TNT in your life, <laughs> like, subscribe, and keep watching. Yep. All right, so we are gonna jump into the video. What we're gonna talk about is sort of like, if I was gonna move to the area, maybe I have kids, maybe I didn't have kids, we're gonna like talk about the hot spots, things to do, schools, and all of that good stuff. So. Give you some lifestyle vibes about what happens in Milwaukee. Yeah. So like Tara said, it's right south of the southeast quadrant of Portland. So we want to do some deep dives into yep. some of the neighboring areas, and we're starting with Milwaukee. Yeah, one of the reasons that we're starting with Milwaukee Milwaukee actually location to Portland Metro, the downtown and all of that, number one. Number two, still major affordability. Um, yeah. Really cute little downtown area. We'll get some more into that, but thinking about proximity really was a huge part of it. And then just feeling safe, feeling like, you know, you're close to the Lima River, you have all of these yeah, things. Yeah, amenities for sure. Yeah, right in proximity. So if you hadn't thought or haven't thought about Milwaukee, maybe put it on your list mm -hmm. to think about. A place about. to visit for sure. Yeah. Well, since we deal with a lot of out-of-state clients, we like to educate them on what each area's vibe potentially is. So like Terry was saying, if you are childless and you're looking for a hot spot nightlife, this is Milwaukee is not the place. <laughs> Except but for it's so close to <laughs> the place. It's close to some really awesome spots, proximity wise, ten minutes away from downtown Portland, um, to hit, you know, nightclubs and things like that. If people still do that, like who goes to the nightclub anymore? I'd like to go back. <laughs> I think they kick us out. I love the dance. <laughs> we like when it's hip hop night. Anyways, so we're going to talk, I think we're going to just kind of go through our list. So there'll be more information down below, links mm -hmm. to links everything things. that we're sure. going to talk about. Um, you want to get started? Yeah, sure. So we're going to talk about where first where to go for a date night. Um, there aren't a whole lot of super fancy restaurants out there, but some of the places to go are the Wichita Pub, River Roadhouse, and the Beer Store. But also when we talk about proximity, so I just moved into Oregon City. Oh, so and it's cute. like a hop, skip, and a jump away. And there is a major push in both of these areas to get some more fine dining in them. So you can travel 10 minutes more south and get to some fine dining kind of more in the smaller areas. Or you can travel... Yeah. Into, 10, 10 yeah, minutes into north into downtown and get all of that stuff as well. There's lots of things in the downtown area of Milwaukee, but you're also super close to other things, yeah. you know, if, if like you get through the or jam of Milwaukee fast. <laughs> so would also, it's, uh -huh. it's like depending on where you are, five to 10 minutes. Next up is where to go to unwind. So I mentioned before the Willamette River, um, McLaughlin 99 kind of is the main artery there. Yeah, that runs through. So on the other side of that is the Willamette River and there's lots of access points and parks right there. So it's beautiful if you haven't been down there right by the old little downtown area. There's and tasting right rooms, the there's wineries, there's parks. Of course, there's an abundance of parks around yeah. um, and easy access to. And then if you do happen to have kids or you have visitors with kids, there's a ton of places to go with them. Obviously oh, the river. If you were a kid, like that would be a good yeah. spot to grow up. For sure. There's tons of parks and you have lots of great things that happen. There's also Wonderland. Um, oh. Wonderland yeah. is like it it's used like a to Portland be, special. Yeah, it used to be what was the five cent arcade? Yeah, the nickel, the nickel arcade. Nickel it was arcade. the nickel arcade. Yeah. So now you go, you pay like five bucks to get in, they give you a bag of nickels, and you still use the nickels for the games. <laughs> and inside Wonderland also is a glow in the dark <laughs> little pop pop golf indoors. Yeah. So that's really cool. 
Then there's Pietro Pizza. Pietro's oh, Pizza. Fun for birthday parties. Super fun for birthday yeah, parties. You know. That also has a little arcade inside there. So yeah. it's also really good for little birthday parties. Super fun. And then things that are kind of close by, again, are in Selwood is Oaks Park. They've got a skating rink and an amusement park. Oh, that is the skating park. And there's actually a, what's the female? Oh yeah, there's the, a roller the derby. derby. Roller the derby, derby. And in there, and they practice yeah. and, and have their little bouts and things. And it's super like fun. so cool. There's badass chicks. In yeah, there. super rad. Yeah, uh, I remember when I was in high school, I watched this double feature of Hackers and oh Halloween my. Six three times at that movie <laughs> theater. The one other thing that is in Milwaukee. Uh, kind of border to Clackamas is the North Clackamas Aquatic Park. Yes. So where to take out of counters? Um, the, a lot on the list that we just talked about, unless you don't want to be around the kids, is going to be the same. A lot of nature stuff. You could do the swimming. Make small. Um, thrift store shopping is huge. I love to do that. Thrifting is great here. I like how we have this little... Oh yeah. We're just... Okay. <laughs> Are you in there? It's my one... Don't tell the other plants, but it's my one plant that's like doing really well. <laughs> She's a plant mom. I'm working on it. Uh, which brings us to... Parks. Um, yeah, so there's so many parks and um, like an unbelievable amount of parks. Some of them are really small, some yeah. of them are attached to water, some of them have little water features, some of them are just like a park with a bench. <laughs> but like a good <laughs> city park, especially if you don't want to get all in the car and go drive somewhere to go and get your nature on. On our list here, there's probably eight or nine yeah, a parks. Ton. So um, that will be linked down below as well. Schools. So there are some great schools, according to great schools and niche.com. Mm -hmm. um, well rated. They're anywhere actually from A minus over to a C. There is a private school. Um, this will be linked also down below. We don't want to get too in the weeds with that but if you have littles and you're interested in that there are some good schools Portland also does something called the lottery system so if there's a, a specialty school that you want your child to get into you're open to put them into the lottery yeah there's still some charter schools and things and yeah the two big ones in and the Milwaukee schools, yeah are um, the Waldorf school um, and I think that one goes K through 12 so yeah. you can have your kids there all the time and obviously it's a Waldorf school so it's uh, private. And then LaSalle Catholic College Prep is more for the high school and above. Yep. Again, proximity-wise though, there's also the Portland Metropolitan Learning Center, which is downtown, and that is, it's a charter school, so it's not a neighborhood school. You do have to lottery into it. Yeah. Um, but there are certain, certain years or grades where it's easier to get in. Bike trails like paths. and paths. Tam and I are both into cycling. So I haven't cycled as much as I should. But it's been so hot. <laughs> oh man. And also COVID. There was just a, like a lot of weird stuff that went on. So I got a Peloton. But anyways, biking trails in the area. They're going to be linked down below. Um, Elk Rock and Island Trail is one of them. Mm -hmm. And Cronenberg. Yeah. And then close by, again, Spring Water Park is the Springwater Trail. Yeah. And um, that yeah. runs basically, you can go from... Not downtown Portland, but the central east side. If you are down there, go to Apex Brewery. One of our friends owned mm -hmm. it. Um, super good. All the way out to Boring. So you pass through Selwood and Gresham out to Boring. And there's a brewery out there, which is a really fun kind of out and back um, thing. And there's a bunch of different connector trails. So if you're yeah. into cycling, I'm sure there's better other resources, but there is access easy to get to it. Mm -hmm. And then you can also get from the spring water in the downtown area back up into like the greenways yeah go around all so, connecting yeah just crazy amounts of biking bikeability yeah. here for sure when it's not a hundred then we'll yeah get back we, we've there. had like a 10 day heat wave of 90 plus but i'm not no complaints because it was like 60. i'm complaining gym. because no. i don't have air conditioning at my house the next topic coffee, coffee shop. shop so Tam and I like to go out of the house. We both work from home. Mm -hmm. So we go out of the house. I'm sure like a lot of you that work from home and you go into a coffee shop. I Post like to up, do it. Plug in, get yeah. the Wi-Fi. But you're, I mean, for personal reasons, and I think Tam's on the same page, we're supporting local businesses. Yes, a lot super of the, important. Yeah, super a lot of the coffee places around here roast their own beans, you know, and they employ mm -hmm. a lot of the people who live in the area. So for me, and for yeah. Tam, like, it really makes a big difference. She is a unicorn and has been here forever. I'm a transplant. But regardless, I think that's what helps, like, keep 
Portland going is because of all the coffee shops and Abs different things. Absolutely. All the small businesses, the oh. restaurants and the thrift stores. And they welcome and it. Yeah. yeah. Great Wi-Fi if you need it. So mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for that if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, we went to, we stopped at this really cool oh, roast. coffee shop, Roast Coffee. It's right across the street from so the cute. food cart pods, the Milwaukee food cart pods, the Milwaukee station down there. That's super cool. That's on our list too. We just blew it for you. Yeah, we're going to, that's fine. We're <laughs> mashing them together at this point. Um, but there, there's also the Milwaukee coffee, or cafe cafe and bottle shop so oh, yeah. you know you get coffee and then you get drunk and then you have coffee it's like the back and forth. And <laughs> yeah it's fine then you can go for you can go for a long time and then you go to wonderland and you blow all your money on the nickel arcades and uh, hey come with us we're gonna have a great time <laughs> so the food cart pod is newer the milwaukee station we have some um video of that as you can see but it's pretty much there's something for everybody picky Absolutely. eaters if you have a hankering or a craving and you want some Damn fried chicken. They have a little brew pub um, yeah. cart there, and they have kombucha also uh -huh. if you're an NA. Um, so, yeah, lots of options. Something the for everybody. I don't think it's even on our list. Sorry. Oh, you're going to throw that in my face. <laughs> One thing that's not on our list that we should talk about that's also right outside of roast coffee and the oh uh, the Max is the Max line. Yeah. So the Max, it's a public transportation that takes you again, kind of like the bike path. All over. You, to any and yeah, all of the quadrants. take you into Gresham, take you into Hillsborough, take you downtown, you know, take, it'll even take you to Vancouver. I mean, um, it's, I think it's really cool because say you don't want to have a car. We have a client right now who doesn't own a car. She mm -hmm. doesn't want to own a car. She lives or, or works from home and all of that. So close proximity to that. If you have a bike or just want to walk down to yeah. it, like Milwaukee definitely has that. And it's only a few stops to downtown if yeah. you want to get into the downtown for any reason. And then, you See know, Trailblazers game. Yeah. Like oh that. yeah, for sure. So breweries, Portland is definitely known for breweries. Here too, we have all the tap rooms, like every Breakside you go. Brewery is there. There's actually a few locations. Mm -hmm. There's a location over in Woodlawn and some other spots. They have amazing food there as well, indoor and outdoor seating. Um, and then that's, other tasting rooms. That's another thing if you don't know. So because of COVID, you know, they needed to space out all this. Oh, yeah. So maybe this has happened in lots of other places as well. But when I used to work in the restaurant industry, there was very limited outdoor seating. Yeah, you had in to get a, Portland specifically, I kind of was like, You had to get what? these um, cafe permits to have things on the sidewalk and like, they would get mad at you if you're taking up any parking spaces. And now it's like everywhere you go, they're limiting parking. They want everybody to take the max. They want everybody to ride a bike, you know, so they, they're taking up some of that space in order to have outdoor seating. I would say, I don't know if they want or need, but like encourage, gently encouraging everybody to. Yeah. Well, and that's why the public transportation is so easily accessed yeah. and like and you know they run all day basically and so anyway they've refined it over the past couple of years so they're able to comfortably seat you outdoors when it's warm in the summer yeah. and then comfortably seat you outdoors when it's cold in yeah in the winter <laughs> and some people like I feel like that's an adventure like you're in your parka and I always bring a blanket with me but mm -hmm. sometimes you're just like it's too goddamn cold so yeah and you're just having some whiskey and some soup. yeah and then so. there's usually like the table side little fireplaces oh, yeah. and things that keep you warm in the heaters and things like that but um, something to take note of is that you're going to have lots of places to go to eat indoor yeah. outdoor lots of ways to get there whether it's public transportation bicycle car you got a maid whatever i mean you really do you really do wineries so There's another a couple. place yeah. to take people when they come or you know to get relaxed or to even work from home <laughs> For We've reason why we've never done that before. Definitely not. <laughs> You've never seen us drink on camera. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, Casa Bruno is one of them. Mm -hmm. What's another one of your favorites? Um, flat Brim Wines is a good one. And there's the bottle shops that we talked about in the tap rooms and yep. all that stuff. Next up is a museum. Who doesn't like a museum? I remember field trips like in elementary school mm -hmm. going to the, the local museum. Uh, the Milwaukee it's Museum, it's great for pretty much any, any age group. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's small, you know, it's not going to take up a whole lot of your time, but it's really cool to see the yeah. historicness. Uh, Oregon City was also the original capital of Oregon, um, and Salem has taken that over. But she didn't know that. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> so having those things close by and learning the history is always really nice. Annual events that happen yeah. in Milwaukee on a regular basis. 
So depending on the time of the year, obviously you'll have different things. The winter solstice and Christmas uh, ships party. So that's a big one, well attended. I don't know how yeah. long it's been going on, but probably uh, for, for forever. A really, so, really long time. And it happens in two different areas. But really fun. If you haven't if you haven't seen that, you don't need to be on the water to uh, experience no, it. But yeah, for sure. But it's cool. fun to also be in the boat. So I've been in the um, the like Christmas the parade. Boat. Yeah, the Christmas boat. Do you parade. do like the full like LED suit and wave I do not, but the captain does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he has all the like snowmen and Santa Claus oh, and stuff on the boat I that are it. all lit up. It. Tree lighting, who doesn't like a good tree lighting yeah. there? Um, also, if you are environmentally conscious, they have cleanups, or they cleanups. Uh, solve it is, or solve, I think it's just called solve yeah. now, uh, <laughs> is around, you can always volunteer for that. But they also have a thing called Porch Fest. Um, yes. I had never, so as a transplant, I'm like, what does this even mean? Like, I love porches, but what do you do? So, if you don't know this, Portland porches are pretty fantastic. They're the bomb, seriously. So we have these old craftsman style homes and even the, the mid mods and things have cool front porches. There's places to hang out. Mm -hmm. And so people will get together and they figure this out. There's a flyer that goes out where everybody like will have music, like be out there singing and dancing and do, putting on acts and things. And so you can walk around Milwaukee and get a little map that tells you all the places to go. I just and love people that. are you get to out know there your neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Your performing community. on their front porches. Hi guys. We're back. Again. Yeah. Guess who's back in the ham. We're basically just making sure you're still awake by this point. Yeah. Our, our and letting you know, like, if you don't like to have fun, don't call us. Don't call us. <laughs> we're uh, not in Milwaukee today, but we are talking about Milwaukee. We've been in this deep dive for Milwaukee. It's an amazing bedroom community. So tell us what's next on the list of, like, amazing for the Milwaukee. The events, the annual events that take place annually, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about Porch Fest a little bit. There's the tree lighting ceremony, which is tons of fun. Watching the Christmas parade of the boats go down the Willamette, yeah. which is totally fun. Concerts in the park, annual cleanup, really community-based. So let's talk about thrifting. One of the reasons I really like it with my earth conscious thinking, I don't really love yeah. fast fashion. Truthfully, um, my mom, when I was growing up, she worked at Nordstrom's, but she would take me at least once a month, we'd go to the thrift stores, show me how to have like a capsule wardrobe and then mix in the thrift store mm -hmm. things. I just, I hate the idea of all of this clothes just being like yeah. into a dumpster somewhere after you wear it three or four times because it's not well made, so. Retro stuff is really good. The consignment stuff is it's awesome It's amazing. Too. And stuff and always comes in and out. It always comes back, yeah. yeah. The trends always come back. I mean, look at the kids in their 90s stuff now. Like, I feel yeah. like I'm back in high school. It's crazy. Big white shoes and the um, big wide the, legs. Yeah, the giant 42 inch around waist that they have to do this. I know. <laughs> around. It's pretty crazy. Skinny, <laughs> skinny jeans are out, apparently. Nobody told me. Um, I like my skinny jeans. <laughs> Some places to go, though, for thrifting in yeah. Milwaukee are... We have Sweet Peas, which is in a really cute location you actually can do. It's like where all the little shops are. Silver Lining Consignment is another really good one, and they're going to have a little bit more than just... Yeah. Um, they'll have some furniture stuff and yeah. jewelry and all that. Mafe's Mall is another, like we talked about that. I think we have some video of it. That place has resale furniture, which is mm -hmm. super awesome. A little more on the mid-century modern side, but a mix of other stuff as well. Yep. There's some kids resale stores uh, and Daphne's Boutique, which is pretty yeah. awesome also. And once again, you're not that far from into Portland and there's, you know, go to Hawthorne or something like that. Oh, yeah. Tons of shops. Tons of them. Because Halloween is actually coming up. Oh, it is. Which is also a great place to go. There's a place off of Sandy that has ridiculously awesome um, costumes that you can get from there. Uh, Anyways, that's not in Milwaukee. If you want to know, DM us or send a message. We'll Another thing about thrifting. So even like the Goodwill for home goods oh yeah as well kind of more than meets the eye really and especially if you're a first-time home buyer which we work with a ton All the time. you can outfit your entire house or your condo or whatever for 
like you can do it on the cheap. We know it costs a lot, you know, as a first timer yeah. to get into a home. Or if you're just moving, things are kind of really backed up in the shipping department with yeah. things. If you just need something on the fly and you can turn around and Facebook marketplace. And if you're, so a whatever. lot of our other clients are out of state. So maybe you want to just have an estate sale and get rid of your furniture there yeah. and buy new furniture here. We have some really great places where you can do that or just yeah. kitchen wares and all of that stuff too. So yeah. Thrifting we, is where it's at. We didn't go on a tangent there or anything. Never. So. That's just not what we do. <laughs> yeah. This last one is, you know, I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but I think it's just, it's really fun if you can imagine bachelors, bachelorette, you go in, you do a little. Anyway. So if you don't know, Portland has more strip clubs per capita than any other city yeah. in the United more States. More than Las Vegas, more than per all capita. these other places. Yeah. So. And in Milwaukee, there are a few oh. very choice yeah. strip clubs. Classic. Yeah, they've Classics. been around. One is the vegan strip club. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Casa Diablo 2. If you know, you can always drop that in the comments as so, well. But also, like, how cool is that in Portland that even at the strip club you can be catered to as a yeah. vegan? I think yeah. that's amazing. I think it's amazing too. Yeah. You know, we... Well, I am. She's not as gluten-free anymore. She fixed her gut and she's able to eat gluten. I, however, still have a... Travel abroad, it helps. Um, so, you know, you have those places too. So specialty, specialty strip clubs. Because yes. we have so many, they can specialize. <laughs> the other strip club that we wanted to talk about is... The Acrop. Yeah, Acrop, Acropolis. Um, they, apparently they serve amazing steak and eggs. I haven't gone there for that. I think we should go. We can't obviously do a video, but right, they won't, um, there's no photography, no photography no. in those places. I, I know. Yeah, we won't. We won't do that. But that is a classic strip club, and it's in Milwaukee. Surprisingly, been but there for a long time. Yeah, I've lots really, of stories really cool. about friends of mine who've gone there. Yeah, and in Portland, if you don't know, in some other states, you cannot have alcohol. While you're at the strip club in Portland, She's you fine. can. That is the conclusion of our very long video. Yeah. Uh, we hope that you stuck around. And, and that you like, yeah. subscribe, yeah. comment, share, call, text. All, all the things. Slide into our DMs. <laughs> Why do you make it weird? Because that's what I do. <laughs> so uh, I again, I'm Tara. And Tamara. This is Tamara, and we love working with first-time home buyers, move-up buyers, people who want to sell their houses. Uh, we love the Portland area, yeah. Portland Metro, and also it's up in GM. Washington. So if you uh, need anything, you know how to find us. Yeah. Until the next video. Peace. Thanks for stopping in.